What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you live on a Tuesday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So, before we get into the wonderful QA, I want to just uh, make sure A, everything is working because sometimes the chat does not work on these wonderful little uh, YouTube things, but uh, hopefully today it'll work good. So, we'll just see if somebody could chat. Hey, we got the chat from Josh Joe. What's up? Um, I want to just kind of, uh, before I get into Q&A, I want to talk about all kinds of fun stuff that we got going on, um, including, what's up, I'll just, I'll get it, dude, um, and see what's going down with everybody. So yeah, the chat is working. I want to talk about uh, the American Live Bear event just from a, a high level, and I'm going to talk more about it on Sunday, but um, you know, I went to that show. It was in uh, St. Louis, which is a five-hour drive for me. Stiff leg. It was tough. And, uh, oh, Christy's commenting on my hair again today. I haven't gelled it yet. I'm out of gel. i got to get a haircut. And um, it was a five-hour drive. And i got to tell you, folks, just from, like, a really, really high level, if you guys want good fish, you either need to find a crazy breeder online or you need to go to these types of events. And, and I think that's uh, a missed for me. And I know I don't have a good, strong uh, local local club or anything and never have so i'd always drive to go get stuff like my first american uh, cichlid association i went and i picked up a bunch of crazy apistos and tetras and that sort of thing and i think that that's something that is kind of missed with maybe the younger generations i know there was a lot of people uh you know that, that were like oh wow that's so cool but i did not see i was one of the younger people there and uh, i did not see a lot of young people there and that is a little disheartening for me to see a club that's so strong uh, I mean, the guys were all in their 50s or whatever, but there was not a lot of young people there. And I, I think that a lot of young people are really missing out on that. And I feel like it's part of my job is to bridge that that gap uh, with the people because there was really like I was sitting there looking around and I'm looking at the talks and there's just not a lot of young people there. I was one of the younger ones and they're, you know, calling pe guys calling me young man. I'm in my 30s. Um, and so that was that was a little discouraging, and I, and I feel like I don't want that to go away because I really think there's a lot of value on there, and I know we live in an online world, and I'm in an online YouTube bubble or whatever, but I really do think that there should be a, a stronger emphasis uh, on these live events because you can get good stuff, and you can get, uh, I mean, look, I, I mean, for example, I'm standing there, and uh, they have, they, it's called a swap meet, and basically at, eight thir at 9 o'clock it was scheduled, it started at 8.30, everybody started early. Everybody had half a table to themselves, and you had to pay five bucks to the club to get in, and then you could bring whatever you wanted. Across from me is Gary Lang. He's selling Krenum for eight bucks. I told him to t charge ten, and I charge more than that. Um, he's selling Krenum. He's selling fish that he caught himself uh, in in Brisbane. He's got all kinds of crazy plants. Another guy down the way from me was selling Taiwan plant, a rare plant that I haven't even put up on the site yet. Uh, and then another guy I had. Uh, I'll show the live bears in a minute. He had like black. Well, I bought half of these fish, but he had black, uh, really nice black Hamburg mo mollies and platies and, and guppies. Uh, I bought all white guppies for, or all white, all white swordtails from him with pink. I bought all, all black Hamburg black swordtails. I bought a set of liar tails, and I bought um, a, a thing of like uh, spotted, like these. Uh, I'll show them in a second here. These uh, Showa swords. And I really think that people, you know, you, when you can see the fish you're about to buy, there's a lot of value in that. Look, I make a living online, um, you know, selling stuff online that people don't get to see in person. But I got to tell you, folks, if there's an event near you, and I do the What's Up Fish Tank People News, that comes out every, uh, I should work that into this, actually. Um, if that comes out every Wednesday, and if you're on my emails, you can get that, where I talk about local events here in the United States and sometimes in Canada. But I really think that people are, are just... Don't overlook that show. I mean, I spent, I mean, I was there to be a hobbyist. Like, I was there to buy great fish. And I'll show you some of those fish in a minute. But I really think that people are, um, I don't know. I, I feel like that club is in, in trouble because they're kind of aging out or whatever. But uh, it, it's like, it's sad because those guys are the guys that have it. I mean, they have some insane stuff. Insane, insane stuff. So, I really just, from a from a 10,000 foot view, no matter what you're into, cichlids, koi, I mean, yeah, you know how much money I spent at the koi show. Uh, cichlids, koi, angels, discus, guppies, whatever. Like, if you're whatever you're into, folks, I really, really advise you, you know, to figure out where those events are and go to those events because there are. Well, you're supporting the hobby. You're you're talking to the guy who's who's raised the fish, and I really think that that's. Uh, I hope that doesn't go to the wayside with the internet. I think the internet's a fantastic avenue, and we're all sitting here hanging out live, if you will. But um, 
it's a really, really important thing for people to not overlook the power of local clubs. And it's new to me, but I really think that I had such an ama amazing time and, and I was able to bring you guys that guppy video you saw, I can link that up. But uh, everybody uh, get involved in that stuff, folks, because these old guys, they got some insane, insane fish and they are selling those fish and they're selling them at good prices and you can get whatever you freaking want. So yeah, there were good deeds there as well. So I hope everybody, uh, everybody you know takes that little rant to heart and, and, and finds out stuff and if you're not check out my uh, dustinsfishnext.com and get on my emails the what's up news with any local events comes out uh, next this, tomorrow actually so here we go okay so yeah to on to some questions uh i thought well all right so with all that said before i get to the q a um there was a ridiculous amount of live bears and i am gonna sh quickly show you guys then do q a until i get really hungry so let's go ahead and uh right here Let's swap this up. I'll show you how the koi walk past. So we got that. We got uh, walk out here. Come on, Brave. There's my dog. Hi, Bravey. Yeah, hi, doggy. She thinks I'm doing something. She thinks I'm running because I got my shoes on. So here's this. You notice the koi all come over to Dusty as they walk by. That's always fun. See how they all swim up? That's cool. So they all come to me. Pond's looking pretty solid, if I do say so myself. There's the dog. And here is the greenhouse. Bunch of crown tiano bulbs I gotta get going. And in here, we have the live bears. And I've shown the live bears on Facebook Live as well. I'm showing them in here. So, yeah, so out of the gate, we've got uh, these Showa live bears here. You can see them. Loving those. So it's got the dots on them or whatever and then there's a liar tail sword right in front full mix for you guys so loving that and there's a big old uh, ra uh, pineapple sword that I got that I'm really enjoying there's some more showas over there if you can see those guys now nope. now let's see if Gary's rainbows are out oh there's one of the sterilers right there see that guy that's one of the ones I picked up. So a lot of fun, really a great fish. And I got six of those for like 20 bucks or something, which I didn't think was too bad. And there's the liar tail in the back. Everybody can see him. And I wanna show you the pink ones up here. Where did he go? Yeah, pink ones are hiding. And there's the benefit right there, tripping, look at him. Oh, right in the camera for you all. You like that? Can I get a like? somebody like it remember to like the stream guys thank you yeah not camera shy today huh look at him awesome that's what we love so there we go I'll show you over here this is a really cool tank of just some sweet red plants I got and you guys can't really see that that well but these are popping right here and I'll get to Q&A in a second I want to show you guys the Hamburg Blacks that are, uh, should be in here somewhere. Yeah. And in here is the rainbows. Where are the rainbows? Uh oh, notice all these sweet red swords. There are the rainbows back there. You can barely see them, they're coming towards us though. They were eating right when I got out of the bag. See that guy? I got those from Gary Lang. Had to, like instantly bought those. So, if you're liking this, Subscribe, hit the hit the like button, share it if you're if you're down. I could use it. Travis, what's up, dude? What's going on? So we'll go back and we'll do a little uh, Q and A here. Oh, this is the uh, tail gone bad. This is the jungle vial I got in that melted all back. So I'm re revamping all these swords in here. So that's a work in progress. There. Yeah, folks. So we'll get to some Q and A here. Make sure I got my water handy. See if any other fish are out. No, nope, not out. And we'll roll. We'll roll like a bat out of hell. How's the audio? Is it all right? I got my cup of water, and you see the pond walk up here. There you go. It's got that uh, that that and that uh, Kentucky humidity is creeping up on us right now. There you go. Boom. Shaka laka. All right, it's time to sit down for a cozy Q and A with you all. One second. Get my water. 
Answer some questions. Five out of five X, five X. Cool, good. Cool. You liking this so far? I give any value? Oh man, I'm not looking so good on camera. Ugh, scaring myself here. All right, so maybe I should uh, shave and gel my hair before I get on camera, but that's fine, whatever. You guys can't tell if I brush my teeth or not. How's the koi? The koi are good. Greetings from Poland, Poland, Jankwe. I love Poland. I lived in Krakow for a while. Poland's fantastic. Uh, Hawaii, we live in Korea. They won't keep fish because of my job. That's tough. Well, I'll go back a little bit on the questions here. What's up, everybody? What's up, Justin? How would you say a good plant to grow out of a sump? I would roll with uh, a sump plant. I would roll with wisteria or uh, java moss. That'd be my roll. Let's see here. All the way from Korea. That's crazy. Any mo Where's the moderators today? No moderators. Do I need a moderator or people that trollish? Yeah, well, let them be trolls. There's all Somebody's got to be the troll, right? Audio's good. Cool. Yep. Hawaii. What's up? Uh, how many days need driftwood sink after boiling it for 30 minutes? Look, every piece of driftwood's different. Um, depends on what type it is. I've found the manzanita stuff sinks uh, differently. It just, just pile it on rocks. Pile rocks on it, man. I mean, it's going to ruin your skate for a minute, but you're ultimately going to have uh, an easier... Uh, it's just gonna you got to give it time. I mean, it's, it's wood wood floats. You got to make it sink So just give it time. I would boil it for longer than that, too uh, Oh, Bob look at you Water suddenly turns yellow even though there's no driftwood fish are fine water and ice I don't know what you're doing with your thing J Rez gonna be moving two large plants to another tank Should I hack them before transferring them Travis? I would man. I especially in a dirty tank. Let's go ahead and hack hack the uh Hack the what's it called? Hack the uh, the stem. If it's a sword, hack it. It'll come back. Hack it just a couple inches below. When's the next shipment coming in? Oh, you guys are always waiting for it. Next shipment's already in. I'm brewing up something nice for you guys on uh, Friday. Need to make loop diesel a moderator. Okay. Robert's okay. Yeah, Justin, come on my come on my thing, dude. Ride a little bit more. Uh, need to make loop diesel a moderator. I need to make loop diesel. Hey, Loop Diesel, who told you to do the shrimp import? I'm giving some credit here. All right, Justin, how's it going, brother? Yo, hey, dude. Dirt in my tank, week ago, no plants melt yet. Look amazing, been doing partial water changes, daily plants. If the plants are going to melt, am I thinking, I'm thinking they'd melt right now. Yeah, Carrie, maybe you lucked out. You're doing the work. People don't want to do the work. They don't want to step up and do the water changes like you got to do. You're probably lucking out. Potassium always seems to help with the, the melt too. Love the plants I got from you. Love it. Thank you so much. You got it. Cool. Good. Glad you dig it. Appreciate your biz. Lens style X. X style lens style X. I need to get my own like X's in front of my name. Dustin, I have a 40 breeder. I've been in college for years. So I'm not angry by the way. I just have to squint to read these little questions. I can get real close and real scary for you. Uh, I have a 40. It's been a college for a year. It hasn't gotten much attention. Brown film, algae plants, blah, blah, blah. What kind of water changes, lighting do you recommend? I have two T5 bulbs. The bulbs are probably bad, my guess. Sam, good to see you. I know you bought from me in the past. Uh, dude, you know, big water changes. Clean it. Do big, big, you know, 50% water change one day, 50% the next. Let it settle. Do it again. Just do the work. You know what you're doing. Nothing new there. How long do you keep lights on? I run my lights six hours, but you can adjust the photo period from there. What's the easiest way to grow in an aquarium? Red tiger lotus from your boy D. Dustin's fish tanks. Red plants category. Keep my eye open for Friday. Looking to make an order. Curtis, we got you. We got a nice thing brewing for you. No dead fish. Cool. Caption and ALA videos are hilarious. Libraries are tales. I'm at work right now making some moves to get an HVAC system installed in my house so I can start setting up a fish room. What do you do for a living, H2O plants? What's your main job? Keep that hustle going, man. Hello from Canada. What's up? Hey, Dustin got Dustin. Loop Diesel finally gives some cred live here. Dustin got me into the shrimp import. 100% credit there. I denied it for five months. Yeah, I try, dude. You gotta bring them in, baby. I made money on that import too. You had some good shrimp. How happy are you with the size of your greenhouse? Do wish it was bigger. I literally was at another greenhouse uh, 20 minutes ago. I was at another greenhouse looking to get a bigger greenhouse with a mentor, with a guy. You guys should all surround yourself with people bigger, older, not bigger smarter and older than you to uh to help you make decisions and i brought one of my mentors who's in his 60s to this greenhouse to get his opinion and he thought it was a good idea that doesn't mean i'm gonna buy it right away but we got some steps to do but it's in the works yeah i don't like to talk about stuff that's not may or may not happen i'm definitely gonna put an offer in though 
keep getting on me. There you go. Uh, facility, you need some outsourced things. Let's see here. Flip Aquatics in the house. That's right, baby. Flip Aquatics is going to the Aquatic, or uh, to the Reef Palooza. And then H2O Plants is going to get a tank in the in Aqua Saving Contest, too. Uh, let's see. I have very hard waters. Any plants that can't help me out? 90 gallon fresh water. Oh, hard water is easy to deal with. Soft water is a pain in the ass. Hard water, get your, get your Anubius, get your Bulbitis, get your. Uh, Wisteria likes it. Java Moss likes a little harder water or takes it. Uh, money work. Yeah, get your, get your hard water. Do it. That's easy. How easy is Monte Gracialis to grow? It's like a 5 out of 10. Not super easy, but not all that hard. Uh, I have an outbreak on my plants of pond plants in my aquarium. How do I get rid of it? I don't understand. Just take them out. Yank them out. What do you suggest for the most important first step for all for our all cichlid tank? Uh, the first step for an all cichlid tank in my book would be to uh, get a ridiculous amount of cichlids. I'm not a cichlid keeper though. You haven't seen very many cichlid African cichlid keeper. I would get a ridiculous amount of cichlids so they're overcrowded. So like one's beating one up, but he doesn't know who he's beating up because another one came around. I would go overcrowd cichlids. And then, of course, lots of hiding places or whatever. My local fish group in Chi Town has pe people of all ages, old timers and kiddos. That's great to hear, man. That's great to hear. Can you get newts? I haven't. Thanks for correcting my Altum mistake. My angels are sclera. I look like Altums. That happens, Ted. It happens. Altums are baller, though. No sound. Hey, good to see you. Guppy tips. Um, tsh, yeah. I don't know. Get a lot of them. Oh, uh, guppy grass, floating plants, that sort of thing. Do I ship to the UK? No, I do not. What are some similar plants to water sprite growth rate besides water wisteria? Um, that's tough, man. I mean, that would be my thing. The water wisteria, water sprite. Um, you could float some hornwort. That's not really that yeah, similar. Hornwort would be good there. Electrical contractor. Well, there's two dudes that are electrical contractors on here. Rob and Justin. I'll be damned. Dustin, please name a few easy immersed plant groups that, that I can grow and sell. Dwarf Sag. Crips. Have you become have you come up with a viable coon deterrent? I showed you guys my dog. My dog is a big puss. Um, so no. But uh, the pond is, is, is okay so far. Um, yeah. Good question. Holly writes, thank you for all the info. Just started putting live plants in my tank. Cool, Holly. Remember, plants need to eat. You got to feed them something. Big water changes, good substrate, whatever. Hello, everybody. I'm a computer science doctor from India. There you go. Hello from Greece. Wow. You guys liking this? Can I get likes? Cool. Uh, Justin, I need to talk to you about the wholesale side, baby. Do you think guppy tails are get, we're getting too long now? I think it's whatever, man. People breed them for that. Good for them. What's up, Dustin? What's going on? What are your thoughts on the king of DIY and his GoFundMe? I mean, everybody does their own thing, man. I, I busted Joey's balls. I asked him how his panhandle was going. I mean, you know, whatever. He, he's got. He's putting on a fish galley. And frankly, you know, like it's it's not something I don't think I'd do at this time. Who knows? I might get the greenhouse and be like, y'all, can you help me out? But at the same time, I mean, he's put out a lot of amazing content. And the thing that people don't. The thing that people don't get about Joey is this, and I'm going to give a little rant about Joey, and he'll probably watch me, and he'll probably come in and give me $20 to show my tit. But the thing that people don't get about Joey is this. Joey has like 400,000 YouTube subscribers, which is untouchable. No one's going to pass him, myself included. What people don't get is like, not only does Joey put out amazing, huge, huge, huge videos. Like, I'm talking, you know, like, I like, I, you know, I've done some cool things. But I'm not building like a 2,000 gallon concrete pond, and I'm not building like a four, you know what I mean? And like he's building them himself, but like all of that, and then there's production behind that. Like I hate editing videos, hate it. And I, th I don't think Joey would admit that he likes editing videos, but he puts out like borderline masterpieces, you know what I'm saying? So he comes out, he brings the hammer every Sunday with something big. So if he wants to ask and say, help me out and raise a bunch of money, you know, good for him. I mean, I think, I think he's, and, and people vote with their money and they said, Hey, they support him. Dude raised like 85 grand. It's insane. You know? And so shout outs to him. I think, I think it's great. I think he's done a lot of great stuff for the hobby and you know, is it something I'm going to do? Not at this time. Like I said, I reserve the right to change my mind later. If I need some cash, the greenhouse blows up in my face but uh you know good for him fuck yeah i mean 85 g's come on now that's a lot uh there you go so that's my thoughts on joey raising that money good for him i mean he gets up every sunday and throws a hammer hammer videos 
and the production behind it. And people don't know how much work goes in behind a YouTube channel either. Like, you're seeing me sitting here ranting. That's nothing compared to, like, editing videos, optimizing. Like, Joey has, like, a... He is the king of do-it-yourself aquariums and do-it-yourself baller YouTube channel. Like, he's on top of that game. So, good for him. Uh, let's see here. Might need to set up a tank you set up in the UK. Sucks over here. Oh, really? I'm surprised this plant suck in the UK. What's your favorite fish? Angelfish, but koi are right behind that. Mani Gracialis doesn't grow from you. I don't believe that, Justin. Love your vids. Thank you, Finbar. How to get guppy fish. Don't know what that means. Can you do a... Can What can I do with dwarf water lettuce? Float it. That's easy. Aquatics. Dustin's all in one day. Yeah, baby. Okay. What banging exotic showstopper fish can I put in a 20-gallon hexagon planet tank? So hexes are always tough for me. I always feel like hexes are like one of those things that's like, yeah. If it were me, I would do... And um, I would do like in a hex, I would do like some either crazy wobbly, goofy looking goldfish or like a harem of a uh, harem, harem, no sorority of uh, betas, the female betas, and then like one dude, uh, and then or I would do uh, guppies, a shit ton of guppies. But hexes are weird, man. I never never really seen a hex that I really thought was awesome. Uh, mech mech where I don't know what that means. My my dad loved fish. Cool. I'm out. I'm out of the chat, but listening, loop diesel in the mix. Dustin, have you tried five hours on, four hours off, five hours light setting before recommended by some of the plants of Wallstead method? Uh, never, never scientifically, like I've never like set out and said, I'm gonna see what this does. I run my halides in my greenhouse like every like three or four hours. Uh, and then in the winter I run them at night so I get the light and the heat. Ball of shot collar. What's the best way to get Crenomatan's bulbs to take off? Currently in dirt outside and natural sun. There's nothing taking off about Crenum tans, right? There's nothing. There's no, you're never going to see like Crenum and fast growing. They take time. They're a slow, lumbering, beastly plant. Crenum rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. They're never going to be a fast grower, which sucks for me because I get them in. Why does Rob have to copy you, Justin? Here we go. Ah, uh, let's see here. They, yeah, so Crenum don't go fast. They don't. Dustin, I would like one of your lights, but they're so expensive to get shipped to Canada. Anywhere I can get free shipping? Hell no. Everything is expensive shipping to Canada. $29 shipping to Canada on a light is a deal. It's going to cost me more than that. I don't mean to like say hell no to somebody that's potentially going to buy, but I can't ship into Canada cheaply, and then I get taxed twice coming into Canada from another thing. It's like a, it's a real... Shipping into Canada is not easy to do. Um, I can't do free shipping on the lights. You get what you pay for. But Canada's tough, dude. I mean, I do free shipping in the U.S., but it's hard. It's expensive. $29 on the lights, I don't think is a bad deal. I don't even know what size you're buying, too. I had a guy buy, like, 48-inch lights into Canada, and it was like, like, I lost a lot of money on the deal. You should breed more fish. You know, eh, I don't know. I, I really, let's talk about breeding fish. I did buy a bunch of live bears intentionally to have a nice variety to have them available. Like, I want to breed, like, the liar tails with the whites, with the blacks, with the reds, with the blah, 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 blah. So, like, I want to have just, like, this crazy mix so like they're all they're all banging they're all bringing out all kinds of babies and i'll just have like what that baby's got half a liar tail with the white head and blah blah blah, blah. like i just want to have like just a like a lab bear orgy going on in there so that's my goal um let's see here mcmiller farm blah blah what are you going to do a shrimp video i need to do a collab with rob everybody smash the like button cool smash the like button yeah justin thanks for that in New York, I got an aquascaping contest coming up in New York. I got to do the official video of it, but uh, it's June 24th, which is a lucky day for me. 24 is a lucky number for me. Reef of Palooza, New York. Going to get excited about that, folks. My dearest Christy, who's never missed a Facebook or a YouTube Live, writes, Wisteria I got from you a while ago has grown like crazy, did water changes, melted like three leaves. Uh, melted in like three leaves. Oh, no, nah, everything looks good. No, just 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 trim that, Christy. Wisteria is such a fast grower that it like it'll shed leaves if changes if conditions change. I don't see why Joey didn't do it sooner. Now that's a good point. Well, he needed it now though, because now he had the whole big thing. Because he's he's walking in there staring at like this massive thing he just built, and probably some bills. He's probably looking at some, some bills piling up, and he was like, "Oh shit!" So that's probably what he did. Would a security light motion detector discourage a raccoon? Maybe. Ed V, what's going on, dude? Always uh, always good seeing you, man. You're always super duper supportive of me and have been for years. Love it. Uh, lights only work on coons for about a week. No, I need like a... At, what I want to get is either like A for the raccoons, a giant ass, like pissed off, 
uh, like Rottweiler, like like angry, just like dog that hates everybody, and just leave them outside and just let them guard it. Or B, which I'm actually a cat person because dogs are, don't have souls and whatever. Um, or B, get a um, a Maine Coon cat, like a big like strangey, uh, like strangly like giant like Maine Coon, big clawed like tear you up. My dog heard me talking about her. Sat down. I that's right. I said dogs have souls. Brave. You like the pond? Look at the dog. The dog chills and stares at the pond just like her dad. Yep. That's my girl. Brave. She's not she's not brave at all. She's not brave at all. Yeah, come here, puppy. Come here. Come here. Me too. Editing sucks. There's my dog. Yeah, you're on the film, doggy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That's a blue Merle right here. This is an expensive dog. Uh, I try, Artist Rick. Finally got the live stream. What's up? So, yeah, me and the dog are chilling. Do you ever do free shipping to Canada? No. Come on now. Would have any light sales? No. I can't do free shipping to Canada. It costs way too much money. I've debated stopping shipping to Canada. I hate to say it like with such aggressive tone, but shipping to Canada is not easy to do. Uh, you just gotta bite the bullet. You live in Canada, you pay the price. Some of my videos take six hours to edit, another three hours to edit. So I respect to Joey. Joey, by the way, makes fun of me because I use a Dell and not a Mac. Which if ever if I should get a Mac, tell me. But uh, he's like he's like uh, only only. Only soccer moms use Dells or something. And uh, I thought that was pretty funny. And then uh, I need to get on a Mac. I hear it's easier to edit. Dude, I spent 25 hours editing my People of the Jungle video and nobody watched it. Like 6,000 people watched it. Oh, all right, dude. You're going to deliver my shrimp? I'm down with that. Maine Coon cats are beautiful. Yeah, that's what I want. Get the Maine Coon. Everybody's down with the Maine Coon. This is my dog. My dog will not kill the raccoon. Two inches of water below. Do you consider yourself a cow? The Coach Cal and Dirt Tanks. <laughs> no. Uh, what's up, Josh, Aquario, Christy? Roughly how long excess nutrient phase? Do your water changes, sister. You can get rid of that quickly. It's hard to keep head count. So many. Which one dies? Don't know how to catch up. Ugh, death. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. How do you consider? No. Two inches of dirt. Ooh, that's a little too much, sister. You got to watch the anaerobic conditions on that. What do people mean by leaves melting? I mean, the plant just reacts poorly. Get the cat. Yep. Maine Coon cat. I want to get a cat bigger than this dumb dog right here. Hey, Brave. You on the camera? With me chilling? Cats don't really scare coons. They've been known to kill cats. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. I'd get a big, mean cat. What's last time? Oh, hey, Yako. Know how to get blocked fast asking me about stuff like that. All right. Pond snails, friend or foe? Friend. Zombie eyes. Trying to read. Sorry. She behaves. She is brave. She is not brave. Cats more than one. More than one cat. I got like neighborhood cats. Uh, blue tick coon howl. Maybe be careful though. A raccoon. Though a, a raccoon can drown a dog. No way. That's crazy. That'd be some cool ass YouTube videos, huh? Like Dustin's like like raccoon battles. Just have like a bunch of dogs and like random pissed off animals that I have to keep the raccoons away. To set up cameras. That'd be fun. I need to do a video just straight up on how to catch raccoons though. Because I think that would be a value to a lot of people here. Dustin, would it be unethical to throw to dump my fish tank out in the yard because I'm so sick and tired of doing maintenance? I'd just take them to the pet store, give them to the people, and then dump the water. Don't get a Mac. Dell wins. I don't know. My Dell, my Dell sucks. Get a Mac. Get a Mac. Get a Mac. Anybody editing on a Mac in here? Tell me. Anybody editing on a Mac? I've been waiting on the 48-inch lights for two weeks. Send an email. What? No way, Lyle. Let me know on that. I'll get that taken care of right away. We... Uh, I got a 48 incher in my garage, dude. I'll get that out today. I'll email you, Lyle. Sorry about that. I don't know what the deal is. I've never got an email. Dustin at DustinsFishTanks.com. Dude, email me right now. I'll take care of you today. Uh, you don't need a Mac. Just get Final Cut. My dogs have killed four cats this year. Wow. You watch other people's videos? Not really. Uh, are you Dusty? No. Both Q, uh, OS work fine. Editing. Personally, I find Macs a bit easier to work on. I prefer Adobe Premiere. Uh, dog has two different color eyes. Yes, it's a blue merle. Did you ever put pond backs? HOBs removed. All right, need a foreground plan. Can carpet with without CO2. Dwarf sag. Uh, raccoon traps sell them to people in Florida. Huh. Can you put an arowana in a planted pond? I would. Yeah. Giant gopher that's backyard. The huge raccoon. Used to hunt raccoons. Brave. I'll we'll let you in in a minute. Uh, get a Dell. Now the Dell sucks. I movie. Will you make another ghetto fish tank video? No, people were calling me a racist about that. So apparently, I live in a hypersensitive world. Can't do it. 
The Macs are made for editing. PCs are for gaming. I need to get them. Kevin, hi. I appreciate your business, by the way. I saw your order. Sorry about my slight. New website coming soon, by the way. Lyle, did you email me, dude? Because that, that should be in process. I pay someone to take care of that. Uh, quick price for your lights. I'm thinking about doing some. 197 for 48-inch standard double free shipping in the United States. I love your service. First time I've ever had an issue. It's cool. All right. Yeah, dude. I know. We typically don't have issues with that kind of stuff. Mini Pro Video People, expensive though. That's the thing, I can't justify dropping like 1500 bucks on a Mac when I can get like a brand new Dell for that, like less the price. Final Cut Pro is a beast for editing, cool. Maine Coons take up to five years to fully grow. Get one from a shelter, you won't regret it, cool. See you in New York, New Jersey, Ruben, what's up? Trigger, don't know what that means. Gonna get on the bandwagon of the custom t-shirts? I don't know, everybody wants me to get, I had some custom t-shirts. T-shirts, you suck, you can't make money on them though. I got hoodies. Uh, we ever get South African cichlids? Maybe, actually. I was thinking about it. If I get this greenhouse, I'd do a, 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 a what's it called? Cichlid tank. Just to show people. Why don't you charge people for advertising their channel on yours? Then you could feature them. 20 seconds each video. I don't know. I'm not trying to charge people. Uh, what made you start a YouTube channel? Gary Vaynerchuk. Did you hit the aquatic show in Schaumburg? Oh, I run the aquatic show in Schaumburg. I've been there every past four years. There was no orders at all for Lyle Chat. Tammy's on here. Lyle, Tammy's on here now. Now you can get your thing. Tammy's on. Tammy's waiting for me to get off. She can optimize it. Lyle, Tammy's on here. There's no orders for Lyle Chipperson. Okay. Get a Mac Mini. Uh, all you do is plug it into a monitor. You have the power you need. Ooh. Ooh. If you spend the cash, get a Mac iMac Mini. That's a great idea. All you can do is plug it into a monitor that you have the power. Ooh. I like that, Justin. That's a great idea. Wow. Thoughts on sponge filters? Love them. Gary V, I love it. I got some Anubias coffee fully about two weeks ago. I've had two plants melt back of no ferts. Is that a problem? And one of the two plants melted back. No, you need to, uh, no, high, high, high water changes and you'll get uh, higher calcium content. That'll take care of that. The, the Anubias sucks like that though. You gotta have your higher pH. It hates low pH, any sort of like soft water, RO water, anything like that. $100 and stuff for stuff on cleans, cool. cool. Really? Everybody wants the everybody wants the swag, huh? I got do your rainbows eat your monos? No. Tammy will scan I will scan the invoice. Lyle, let us know. We need an order ID number, bro. It'll be like order number seven something. Plus one for the Mac Mini. I like that idea a lot. Cool. Can raccoons kill German Shepherds? I never had a raccoon. I never had a German never had a German Shepherd to kill a raccoon. Let's see here. That's what I do, huh? And you can just use the iMovie. It's free. You can be the wow, that's a good idea. Uh, which better, a fish? Oh, come on now. What do you keep your GHKH at? Uh, higher. 180 uh, rate. I could 180 rate sponge filter handle 100 guppies in a 40 gallon. No, dude, no. 100 guppies in a 40 is a lot of fish. Tammy, you got that order number? 74485. Uh, Thiel Xander just bought an Aqua Pro tree. Cool. Get a Norwegian forest cat. There you go. Uh, you look native speaker teacher my school. I don't know what that means, but okay. How do you keep algae out of your water being in pure sunlight? Shade cloths, big water changes. You ever kept gudgeons? No. All right. Best way, best setup for breeding tropical fish. Lots of great food, lots of places to hide, good water quality. Feed them heavy. Dustin, for some reason I can't put notification. Oh, yeah. Turn the notification bell on. Uh, you hit the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Helps me out, helps you out, get my good stuff. And hit the little notification bell. Thank you for reminding me about that, Danny. Uh, I don't know. Thanks for always being on here, Danny. I know you're in another country. Young lad. Appreciate it. Do you get your cichlid tanks or haps, peacocks? Do you like the Samsung S8? Never had it. Uh, what do you use for ferts? I use a lot of potassium. Going to buy fish, but ended up buying a snake instead. Oh, poor thing. Do your rainbows ever have missing scales? Nope. Thanks for avoiding the political questions. Fish is business. That's right now. Ring the bell. Ring the bell, Justin says. Cool. Have you? Can you have a tank in full sun, or will if you use UV stellar? No, you don't want to use a tank in full sun. You want to set it in the shade. It'll get plenty of light if it's outside. Plenty of light if it's outside. Uh, let's see. Cool. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notifications button. The little uh, bell thing. You'll get notified of this. Any way to cure bloat? Peas. Feed lots of peas. And um, with that said, folks, I have got to fly. Make sure you like and share the stream. Uh, subscribe. Will you do a saltwater aquarium? No! What state do you live in in Germany? I'm from Germany. Ich war in Leipzig drei Monate und Berlin drei Monate. 
ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen. Aber jetzt mein Deutsch, schle mein Deutsch schlecht jetzt. Viel Spaß, mein uh, Fischtank, Fischleute. How do you say that? How do you say Fischtank people in German? I don't even know. All right, cool. I'm out of here. Uh, rhizome. Yeah, you can chop the rhizome up, Ed. And then you want to use higher pH and KH water. Peace out, everybody. I'm out. Sehr gut. Ja, nicht schlecht, ah. Cool. Man, I'll subscribe now. Yeah. Warum nicht? Ich bin ein Deutsch Amerikaner. I love, I was living in Leipzig, in Berlin, in my schnitzel. Ah, yeah. Will Spaß haben. Will, will, uh, Weißbier getrunken. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. Later. Tank on. Bye bye. Hit subscribe. Hit the notifications. Yeah, I do it right. That's right. Subscribe, baby. Later.